Welcome back to the Investing Iguana channel, where we peel back the layers of the market to find the ripest opportunities for your portfolio. I'm Iggy, your guide through the financial jungle, and in today's deep dive, we're tackling IREIT Global's FY23 results. In this 12 to 15 minute video, I'll decode seven key slides that shed light on IREIT's performance, from their robust revenue growth to the strategic financial maneuvers that have kept them steady in the face of rising interest rates. If you're eyeing the real estate investment trust market or considering IREIT for your investment mix, you'll want to stick around. We're about to uncover the numbers behind the news and what they mean for investors like you. Let's get into it. Slide 1. The slide presents a snapshot of a Western Europe-focused real estate investment trust, REIT, highlighting its portfolio distribution, valuation, and recent accolades. The pie chart shows a significant emphasis on office properties, which make up 77% of the REIT's valuation, with a total valuation of 899.0 million euros. The geographic distribution is heavily weighted towards Germany, 60%, followed by France, 23%, and Spain, 17%. From an investment perspective, the concentration in office properties suggests a strong belief in the stability and growth potential of the commercial real estate market in Western Europe. The focus on Germany, a robust economy with a strong industrial base, could be seen as a strategic move to capitalize on the country's economic stability and potential for real estate appreciation. The presence in France and Spain diversifies the portfolio, potentially mitigating risks associated with market fluctuations in a single country. The REIT's recent awards, including a Platinum Award for Best Office REIT, Singapore, and a Gold Award for Best Investor Relations, indicate recognition within the industry and could be a positive signal to investors about the management's capabilities and the trust's performance. Investors interested in this REIT should consider the current economic climate in Europe, including factors such as interest rates, which can affect property values and rental incomes. Additionally, the REIT strategy of focusing on office and retail properties should be evaluated in the context of evolving market trends, such as the increase in remote work and e-commerce, which could impact the demand for office and retail spaces differently. Overall, the REIT's strong valuation and geographic focus, combined with its recent accolades, suggest it could be a solid investment for those looking to add real estate exposure to their portfolio, particularly in the commercial sector within Western Europe. Slide 2. Looking at this slide, the Western Europe-focused real estate investment trust, REIT, has demonstrated stable performance in FI 2023. The REIT reports a net property income of 49.9 million euros, which is a 2.3% year-over-year increase, attributed mainly to the addition of the B and AMP, M portfolio and other income from dilapidation cost payable by the tenant. The portfolio occupancy rate stands at a healthy 90.4%, with a slight dip from 88.3% as of December 31, 2022. This stability in occupancy is bolstered by the full occupancy of the recently added B and AMP M portfolio. The aggregate leverage is at 37.9%, which is a result of a 5.4% year-over-year decline in portfolio valuation to 899.0 million euros as of December 31, 2023. The weighted average interest rate is low at 1.9%, with no debt maturity until January 2026, and a significant portion, 96.5%, of all bank borrowings is hedged, providing a cushion against interest rate fluctuations. The REIT's portfolio is heavily weighted towards office properties, which comprise 77% of the valuation and is geographically concentrated in Germany, 60%, France, 23%, and Spain, 17%. This indicates a strategic focus on the commercial real estate market in these economically stable and potentially high-growth European countries. The REIT has also been recognized with a Platinum Award for Best Office REIT, Singapore, and a Gold Award for Best Investor Relations, suggesting strong management and operational excellence. Investors considering IREIT should be encouraged by the REIT's stable income, strategic asset allocation, and industry recognition. However, they should also be mindful of broader market trends, such as shifts in the demand for office space due to remote work trends and the potential impact of economic fluctuations on property values and rental incomes. The low interest rate environment is currently favorable for REITs, but any future rate hikes could affect profitability and valuation. Overall, the REITs focus on maintaining a resilient portfolio and a healthy balance sheet positions it well for navigating the dynamic real estate market. Slide 3. 
Analyzing the provided slide, we can see a detailed breakdown of the operating and financial performance of a company, presumably named IREIT Global, for the second half of 2023 2H2023. Compared to the second half of 2022, 2H 2022, as well as the full fiscal years 2023 and 2022. Starting with gross revenue, there's a notable increase of 15.7% in 2H 2023 compared to 2H 2022, and a 5.4% year-over-year, YOY, increase for the full fiscal year. This suggests that the company is growing its top-line income, which is a positive sign for potential investors. The increase is attributed to the acquisition of a portfolio and the dilapidation cost payable by the main tenant at the Berlin campus. However, the property operating expenses have also risen by 19.4% in the second half comparison and 17.3% YOY, which is significant but not entirely out of step with the revenue growth. This could indicate that the company is investing in its properties or facing higher costs to maintain them, which is not uncommon in real estate operations. The net property income, which is gross revenue minus operating expenses, shows a healthy increase of 14.6% in the second half comparison and a modest 2.3% YOY. This is a key figure as it reflects the profitability of the company's core business operations. A concerning figure, however, is the income to be distributed to unit holders, which has decreased by 13.5% in the second half comparison and 19.2% YOY. This suggests that while the company is growing its revenue and maintaining profitability in its operations, the amount available for distribution to investors is shrinking. The reasons provided include retention of dilapidation costs and rent-free periods granted to tenants, which could be strategic decisions to maintain long-term tenant relationships or due to market conditions. In summary, Iriate Global is showing growth in revenue and maintaining operational profitability, but the decrease in distributable income could be a red flag for investors looking for immediate returns. The strategic decisions leading to this decrease would need to be evaluated to understand their long-term benefits. Potential investors should consider the company's growth trajectory against the backdrop of its investment in properties and the current real estate market conditions before making investment decisions. Slide 4. Analyzing the financial snapshot provided in the slide, we can see that IREIT Global, a Europe-focused real estate investment trust, REIT, has experienced a notable decrease in its distribution per unit, DPU, over recent periods. Specifically, the DPU for the second half of 2023, 2H2023, is 0.94 cents, which is a 26.6% drop from the 1.28 euro cents in the second half of 2022, 2H2022. Similarly, the full-year DPU for 2023 is 1.87 euro cents, down 30.5% from the 2.69 euro cents in 2022. The slide indicates that the enlarged number of units following a preferential offering and acquisition fees paid in units are the primary reasons for the lower DPU. The total issued units at the end of 2023 stood at 1,344,837,568 an increase from 1,155,891,421 at the end of 2022. This dilution effect is common in REITs when they issue new units to raise capital for acquisitions or other purposes, which can lead to a temporary decrease in DPU as the earnings are spread over a larger number of units. For investors considering IREIT, it's important to look beyond the DPU and consider the underlying reasons for the changes. The acquisition of the B and AMP M portfolio, for example, could be a strategic move to enhance the REIT's asset base and generate long-term income growth, even if it leads to short-term dilution. Additionally, the broader market conditions and the REIT's ability to manage its portfolio effectively in the European market context are crucial factors to consider. Given the reported decline in DPU and the muted outlook from brokers, investors should carefully assess the potential for recovery and growth in IREIT's distributions. It's also worth noting that the REIT sector can be influenced by various macroeconomic factors, including interest rate changes and economic cycles, which can impact property values and rental incomes. Therefore, a comprehensive analysis should include these broader market considerations alongside the specific financial performance of IREIT Global. Slide 5. Analyzing the financial position of IREIT Global, we can see that the net asset value, NAV, per unit has experienced a notable decrease both in Euro and Singapore dollar terms. 
as of December 31, 2023, the NAV per unit in euros is 41 cents, which is a 24.1, crease from the previous year's 54 cents. Similarly, the NAV per unit in Singapore dollars is 60 cents, down 22.1% from 77 cents. This decline in NAV per unit is significant as it reflects the value of an investor's share in the REIT and is a key metric for assessing the performance and health of the investment. The slide indicates that the decrease in NAV is primarily due to a lower valuation of investment properties and an increase in the number of units outstanding. The dilution effect from the enlarged number of units can spread the value of the REIT's assets over a larger base, thus reducing the NAV per unit. Additionally, the image notes that the decrease in property valuation and the increase in units were partially offset by stronger euro slash Singapore dollar exchange rates. Furthermore, the image shows that IREIT Global's total assets have decreased by 4.5% year-on-year, and the net assets attributable to unit holders have decreased by 12.7%. This overall decline in asset value could be a concern for investors as it might indicate a challenging environment for the REIT's property portfolio or potential headwinds in the real estate market. Investors might also note the trading discount mentioned in the slide, where IREIT is trading at a 32.5% discount to its NAV of $0.60 cents per unit. This could suggest that the market is pricing in potential risks or uncertainties surrounding the REIT's future performance, or it could represent an opportunity if investors believe the intrinsic value of the assets is higher than the current market price. In summary, the decline in NAV per unit for IREIT global points to a period of underperformance, with property revaluations and unit dilution as key factors. Investors would need to consider these changes in the context of the broader market and the REIT's strategic moves, such as property acquisitions or disposals, to understand the long-term implications for their investment. Slide 6. Analyzing the slide from IREIT Global's presentation, we can gather some key insights into their performance and strategy. The slide, titled Active Asset Management to Optimize Portfolio, highlights several strategic moves and performance metrics that are crucial for investors to consider. Firstly, the German portfolio shows a proactive approach with a new 10-year lease signed with a major provider of mobile roof antenna, indicating a commitment to long-term occupancy and revenue stability. The federal tenant at Darmstadt campus starting to pay rent from November 2023 onwards after a rent-free period suggests that IREIT has successfully navigated through a vacancy, which is a positive sign for cash flow continuity. The Spanish portfolio's divestment of Iolumina at a 6.1 O valuation as of December 2023 demonstrates IREIT's ability to realize gains on their investments, which is a testament to their asset management capabilities. Additionally, the contribution from St. Cugat Green to increase as the tenant operating the data center property will start paying rent from July 2024, further diversifies the income stream and enhances the portfolio's resilience. In the French portfolio, the extension of leases at both Decathlon and B&AMP M properties to an average of 7.7 .7 years, along with an increase in rental income by 0 0.7 million euros in 2024, reflects IREIT's strategic focus on securing long-term leases that provide stable cash flows. The slide also provides some key performance indicators, such as a new lease take-up of approximately 3,750 SQM in Q4 2023, a rental reversion year-to-date, YDD, of 0.5%, and a rental escalation YDD of 4.6%. These figures suggest that IREIT is actively managing its assets to improve occupancy rates, adjust rents to market conditions, and ensure rent escalations are in place to grow income over time. The 100% rents paid indicator is particularly reassuring, as it implies strong collection rates and financial discipline. Overall, the slide indicates that IREIT Global is actively managing its portfolio to optimize performance through strategic acquisitions, divestments, and lease management. The focus on long-term leases and diversification across geographies and tenant industries is a strategic approach to mitigate risks and ensure a stable income stream for investors. Despite some challenges, such as a historical decline in earnings and a high enterprise value to sales ratio, the company's recent strategic moves and the management's focus on sustainable growth suggest a forward-looking approach that could benefit investors in the long run. Slide 7. Analyzing the slide titled Healthy Gearing with Limited Impact from Rate Hikes for IREIT Global, we can gather some key insights into the REIT's financial health and performance. 
As of December 31, 2023, Iriot Global's gross borrowings have increased to 374.0 million euros from 332.7 million euros the previous year. This uptick in borrowings is attributed to new borrowings for capital expenditures and the acquisition of the B&AMP M portfolio, as well as a lower valuation of investment properties. The aggregate leverage has risen to 37.9%, which is a jump from the previous year's 32%. However, it's important to note that a significant portion of the bank borrowings, 96.5%, has been hedged with interest rate swaps and caps, which helps mitigate the risk of rising interest rates. The interest coverage ratio, which measures the ability to pay interest expenses, has decreased slightly from 7.9x to 7.0x, but still indicates a strong ability to cover interest payments. The weighted average interest rate has increased marginally from 1.8% to 1.9%, and the weighted average debt maturity has shortened from 3.5 years to 2.8 years. This shorter debt maturity could indicate a need for refinancing in the near term, but the slide assures that there are no near-term refinancing needs as all existing borrowings will mature in 2026 and beyond. When considering whether IREIT is worth investing in, we should also look at the broader context provided by the search results. According to Market Screener, the company has poor fundamentals for a medium to long term investment strategy, with a particularly low revenue growth forecast and a challenging financial situation due to significant debt and low EBITDA levels. RHB Securities also notes a muted outlook for IREIT Global, with challenges in the German office leasing market and slow diversification efforts. However, there are some positives, such as high margins and attractive earnings multiples compared to competitors, as well as being one of the best yield companies with high dividend expectations. In conclusion, while IREIT Global appears to be managing its leverage and interest rate exposure well, the broader financial performance and outlook present a mixed picture. Potential investors should weigh the strong interest coverage and hedging strategies against the challenges of low revenue growth prospects, high leverage, and the ongoing transformation in the office leasing market. The current discount to NAV and high dividend expectations may be attractive to some investors, but the muted outlook and financial challenges suggest a cautious approach to investment in IREIT Global. And that's a wrap on our analysis of IREIT Global's FY23 results. We've journeyed through the critical numbers and what they signal for the future of this REIT. If you found value in our breakdown and want to stay ahead in the investment game, don't forget to hit that like button. Your support helps us continue to provide these in-depth analyses. Ready for more financial insights? Subscribe to the Investing Iguana channel and turn on notifications so you won't miss our next investment expedition. Have thoughts or questions about IREIT? Drop a comment below. Let's get a conversation going. Until next time, keep your investments growing and your risks low. This is Iggy, signing off.